Exclusively, we've been given a first look at the EP. Now, this is the first EP, and that means that there are a few things that will be refined by the time the model breaks cover in the shops and is available for you to run on your own layout. In addition to the working front headlight and the firebox flicker, this model will also feature a fully functional smoke unit. A big hello to you, so great to see you and hope I find you well. I'm Jenny Kirk and this is Weir Yard. And today we've got something really special. We've been entrusted with the first EP for a model that was announced with uh, an awful lot of expectation in the air. This is Big Emma or uh, Big Bertha, the Licky Banker, the largest locomotive that the Midland Railway ever built. It was for a specific purpose, but for a company that liked its small engine policy, this really was a behemoth of a steam locomotive. And this imposing pre-grouping locomotive is being brought to us ready to run by KR Models, who are going to be offering it DCC ready, DCC sound and also DCC sound with a working synchronized smoke unit and that is something that is uh, currently under development. Now I have seen a video of it working but the EP that I've got here it, it isn't actually plumbed in so I'm not able to show you that but I am able to show you pretty much everything else and it's a fully working model so I'm really quite intrigued to see just how well it goes through its paces here on Weir Yard and come with me and you can join me for this exclusive first look at Big Bertha. Today's video comes in association with Trainomatic makers of DCT decoders and accessories that are designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. Find the full range available to order now at tramfabrique.co.uk. Additional support comes from... This is Clark Railworks and this is what we do. You'll know us from Ellis Clark Trains and you'll get the same friendly expertise with us too. We've got a huge range of pre-owned model railways from all your favourite manufacturers and maybe some you hadn't heard of before. It's the place to come for quality. We don't stock substandard models and everything we sell is fully tested and photographed by model railway experts. No matter whether you model double O gauge, N, HO or more, we have sought after models from all around the world with new listings added every weekday. Check out what's available now at ClarkRailworks.com and don't miss out on your latest logo. I have to say, it's one of those models that really caught my attention and I suspect a lot of other people too. When it was announced, it was like, wow, that's going to be something quite interesting. And I'm actually surprised at just how quickly this locomotive has come together. And uh, this EP kind of turned up completely out of the blue. And I think it's going to be one of the highlights of the Warley show, which is coming this weekend. And you will be able to see this on the KR model stand. But today, we're going to really put it through its paces. And I'm actually really looking forward to this and just seeing what this locomotive can do. So come with me and don't forget to tickle that like button, share this video, and also subscribe to the channel and hit that subscription notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. But let's take a good look. I'm so excited to get this on the track. Let's go. <laughs> One of the most eagerly awaited models has been the Big Emma or Big Bertha as the Licky Banker was referred to. The largest locomotive that was on the Midland Railways roster, this 0 tender locomotive was built with just one purpose in mind, to bank trains up the rather long and arduous Licky Incline. For that purpose it had a number of different quirks and these have all been captured on this model from KR Models. As per prototype photographs that have been located of the real Big Bertha, the centre wheel set is presented flangeless, and this also helps this O10 wheelbase negotiate some of the tighter curves on your model layout. I had this running through the double slips and a whole host of scissor crossings and reverse curves here on Weir Yard, and it worked pretty well. Looking down on the model, it also features the unusual dual safety valve setup. We've got a whistle on there, 
and a wealth of rivet and other detail that is carefully picked out across the boiler and firebox. The headlight on the front of the locomotive is fully functional and it works in the forward direction and is keyed in so that when you reverse the locomotive the light will automatically go out. With the Trainomatic decoder that I have fitted this EP with it is uh, there on the F0 function. The front buffers are sprung and we've got this huge boiler and raked back outside cylinders perfectly represented. The valve gear here is all in brass, apart from the cross slide which is a detailed moulding. The perch bracket too is captured and we've got an awful lot of additional detail parts that have been added onto the model. The front of the locomotive captures the look of the original well, although this EP does not feature the full up and over handrails that were a feature of Big Emma in her latter days with BR. The classic Midland Railway tender is captured well and this also features full pickups across the tender wheels and the locomotive itself. There are many additionally fitted brass handrail details plus a vacuum standard on the back and additional detail parts at the rear of the tender. The cab features the correct pattern uh, back of the cab with those uh, porthole windows and the additional bars that protected the glass from getting broken by the coal when it was piled up high. On this EP there is plenty of room still if you want to add in a genuine coal load on top of this coal insert. On the EP the coupling between locomotive and tender has not yet been finalised but this does give the opportunity to have a good look inside between the two. With dual handbrake standards on the tender and a further handbrake standard in the locomotive cab, we've also got the back head detail represented really quite nicely in there. With the model upside down, a number of the features can now be seen. These include slimline tension lock couplings which fit into a NEM pocket which is mounted inboard of the rearmost axle fully fitted brake detail and rigging, and you can also see the brass bus bars which connect to the pinpoints of the axles for the tender power current collection. The connection between locomotive and tender has not yet been finalised and as an EP this just has a rough and ready connection, this is not representative of the production model. What you can see is that we've got separately fitted crew ladders with a characteristic uh, crescent cutout as per the prototype. Looking to the underside of the locomotive, again, it must be stressed, EPs do tend to go through a lot of handling, and I've seen pictures and video of this running in the factory, so it has had a lot of use before it's even reached this country. The brake rigging on this has been slightly damaged, so it's a caveat that uh, on the production models that will all be in one piece. We've got brake blocks up against each of the 10 wheels. And the current collection on this is quite interesting. We don't have wipers on the backs of the wheels, but instead these uh, appear to uh, collect the current from the axles themselves. We have the correct pattern wheels, and also it should be noted the correct arrangement of the counterweights. For anybody who's wondering, these are set up to balance the wheels and there would be on the real locomotive cranks and other such items for the third cylinder inside and these counterweights are there to balance all of that as well. So if it looks like that central axle has a counterbalance in a strange place, this is entirely as per the prototype. The model features correctly fluted coupling rods and these are made of brass. On the production model these will be correctly coloured. The raked back cylinders were a very much a feature of this locomotive and these are reproduced as per the prototype. The cross slide itself is a moulding which is fitted in to the brass connecting rods. This EP is not as per the production model and at the moment there is a piece to be changed on this valve gear assembly linkage. The decoder sits underneath the coal insert and this makes this a really easy model to DCC fit. 
there's enough room inside here to be able to fit even the biggest of 21 pin decoders and that includes the factory fitted ESU Locksound V5 or indeed if you wanted to fit it with the HM7000 Bluetooth decoder from Hornby both of these will easily fit. There's also additional space above and hidden by the coal load if you wanted to add in something like the power bank or a power pack and it's uh, definitely quite a roomy install in here. The coal load is just an interference fit and easily pushes back home. A firebox flicker is being developed for this model. Currently it is in the process of being improved and at the moment this EP features a firebox glow on F6 which is just this steady red glow. Although I am assured that this is being worked on and one of the suggestions that I've fed back is a two LED function whereby F5 and F6 control the yellow LED and red LED and these can then be set with different rates of flicker to produce a very effective firebox glow. The model itself is a reasonable weight and that means that it did pull a reasonable length train although it has to be remembered that this is an EP and they don't tend to be quite as good in the running department as the final production models, although this one did perform pretty well. In addition to the working front headlight and the firebox flicker, this model will also feature a fully functional smoke unit and will be tied to allow for the puffs to be synchronized to the sound decoder setup. The model will be available as DCC ready, DCC sound, and DCC sound with smoke unit. Well, I hope you really enjoyed today's exclusive first look at the first EP of the KR Models Licky Banker, Big Bertha. And I'd love to hear from you in the comments section. What did you think about this model? Has it really fired you up? Certainly, is this something that maybe you want to add to your collection? And do bear in mind that this being a first EP, there's still tweaks to be made. And as I pointed out in the intro, there's a few areas that are still being worked on. But I would love to hear from you down there. And we do have a link as well in the description box to take you to where you can buy your own version of the model that you see. Now it is still forthcoming, but it's well worth getting your pre-order in to make sure that you don't miss out. It's available in DCC Ready, a DCC Sound, and then also that uh, really quite innovative DCC Sound with working synchronized smoke units. So you've got a lot of different choices to choose from. And until next time, don't forget to tickle that like button, share this video, and also subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to make sure that you don't miss out on the videos that you've chosen to follow and watch. You can also head on over to Patreon and we've got a number of different tiers of rewards to help you support the channel and a huge thank you to everybody who does. But until next time, this is me, Jenny Kirk, saying you take great care of yourself. Happy modelling. Bye for now. Today's video comes in association with Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders and accessories that are designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. Find the full range available to order now at tramfabrique.co.uk. Additional support is provided by This is Clark Railworks and this is what we do. You'll know us from Ellis Clark Trains and you'll get the same friendly expertise with us too. We've got a huge range of pre-owned model railways from all your favourite manufacturers and maybe some you hadn't heard of before. It's the place to come for quality. We don't stock substandard models and everything we sell is fully tested and photographed by model railway experts. No matter whether you model double O gauge, N, HO or more, we have sought after models from all around the world with new listings added every weekday. Check out what's available now at ClarkRailworks.com and don't miss out on your latest logo. I'd like to thank everybody over on Patreon and an extra special huge thanks goes out to our Patreon heroes. Without you guys over on Patreon, we really wouldn't be able to keep making the video content that you see on this channel. And don't forget that you can also head on over to patreon.com slash Jennifer Kirk and check out the different tiers of rewards. Thank you so, so much. You are absolute legends.